Good morning, folks. Today we're going over the weather, more possible signs of the pole shift effect here and on Mars, a bit of solar forcing and geomagnetism in Mexico. But we've got a solar watch and solar wind to cover as well, so we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring has gone quiet as the big sunspots depart, but there are coronal holes that will soon amplify the solar wind, and there are a lot of plasma filaments taking up the eruptive potential. Several dark snake-like ropes seen in the corona here, and they are all potentially eruptive events. Saw one go off the limb yesterday right after the morning show. It's good to keep monitoring those features, but we had also mentioned that the IMF flip in the solar wind was coming, and it did happen midday. Magnetic field of the solar wind flipped as is customary before coronal hole streams, but it produced only a minor impact geomagnetically with the KP coming up off the floor, but not to storm conditions. The faster stream from the coronal hole is due soon. Folks, while southern Africa is in mega drought, a bit north, they have received all of their expected rain. Death toll jumps in Tanzania after devastating floods hit the region. 160 pilot whales got stranded in West Australia. A mega effort was able to save a lot of them, but the bigger issue is the stranding itself, basically at the closest coastline to the shifting south magnetic pole. Up first from the journals, we've got yet another look at precipitation in China, with solar energy being pegged along with indirect effects through sea surface temperature variability. It's about the tenth such paper we've seen in just the last few months. Interesting story from Mars, as it just broke its global auroral record, just like Earth did last year. Never before seen trifecta of global outbreaks detected. Remember folks, it's not just the Earth, but the entire solar system is undergoing a magnetic shift. Excellent candidate for the effects of that shift here. And last but not least, the identification of low-latitude geomagnetic disruptions from space weather. They peg the ionospheric effects, which is an excellent exemplification of the solar flare magnetic crochet effect through the ionosphere, the CME compression of the field driving Van Allen electrons downward, and the equator were traveling waves from auroral excitement, meeting in the tropics. Once again, it is a rapid, global impact from space weather energy hitting our planet. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.